Okay, ladies and gentlemen, man, uh, first off, man, let's get right into it. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has finally hit the small screen, and they did it perfectly. Five out of five stars, it's over. Done. You might as well, check this out, you might as well just go ahead and set up your DVR, because Tuesday nights, you're not doing anything except watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's done. It's over. It's already your destiny, and you don't even know it yet. If you happen to tune in, and I hope that you did, thank you. Thank you for supporting this show, man. It did excellent with the numbers. And uh, without further ado, man, let's go ahead and get into this review. Listen, Agent Coulson is alive. Everybody knows it. But there's something different about this guy. For me personally, I think that this dude is some kind of cyborg, um, robocop, uh, I don't know, half man, half machine. And the justification for that is he's very angry. For no reason. We never seen Agent Coulson this fired up, man, but he has this this instant. It's like it's like he's happy one second and he's furious the next and he wants things done. You know? Don't give him an excuse on why you can't accomplish the mission, okay? Um what Agents of Shield managed to do, and I think they did it excellent. I mean, I, I'm talking about perfect uh precision in executing the idea that this uh, strategic homeland intervention enforcement and logistics division is real and it exists even without Tony Stark and the rest of those amazing Avengers like Bruce Banner um yeah Captain America <laughs> the Hulk <laughs> Thor you know Nick Fury etc cetera, etc cetera, man um they really did it man I, I don't I don't know if Episode 2 is going to be as good as Episode 1. I don't know that. But I'm going to stay positive, man. Um, we were blessed enough, man, to have Queen direct this one, man. And it, I'm telling you, man, this was the... It, it was my, my favorite episode of this fall TV season. It, it really was, man. And I am blown away by it. First off, let me just say, man, that the uh, DeLorean was seen at the end of the show. Uh, and that's a shout out to Michael J. Fox, who has a show on TV now. Make sure you guys check that out. Um, but they were able to give comic book fans like myself little, little, little hints, you know, little high fives, little shout outs. And the end of that episode, that was it for me. All right. We got to see Agent Coulson driving away in this, you know, transforming, um, uh, car and then flying off to his next mission, 084. That's episode two. It was just awesome, man. Uh, we did get to see um, uh, Agent uh, Hill. She was inside of the uh, TV show, which I was very surprised at. I didn't see that coming. Um, I thought that we would hear, like, Nick Fury's voice, but I knew we were going to see Samuel Jackson or like that. But um, just seeing Hill on screen, I was absolutely blown away by that. Um, Agent Coulson, he's alive. He thinks that he has been um, recuperating um, in Tahiti, drinking Mai Tais in that's not the case, man. The case is, is that uh, Maria Hill, Agent uh, Hill, she knows what's going on. She knows what's going on, and she says that he can never find out. And what I'm thinking is that if Agent Coulson finds out, he's going to murder the entire S.H.I.E.L.D. organization. There you go right there. Uh, me personally, I think that um, if this Tahiti is the magical place that I think it is, as it is inside of Marvel Comics, it's only mentioned a couple of times. But if this is the same Tahiti, then maybe this ties into people like Doctor Strange, people like uh, 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 Femme, people like, um, I don't know, I guess more like mutants and, and aliens and, and beings. Man. Maybe this will kind of explain what you know, Thanos has to do with him. Uh, maybe this will uh, give us some some origins with uh, Ultron or something. I don't know, man. I'm just, I guess I'm just kind of trying to wrap my head around the idea of what happened on this island. Uh, it was an excellent pilot. I don't really want to go into it uh, too much, man, because um, everybody's probably seen it. But you had an origin story um, for uh, this new hero guy. Uh, he was a father, uh, unemployed, and um, he needed to do something to. Um, to stay motivated. And we end up finding out that the events that took place in Iron Man 3 were the events that changed his life. He was injected with the extremist serum or whatever, and that made him go pretty much ballistic. But they were able to stop in the end, and the team starts working together as a team. 
that's the whole concept of Atheist Joe. We're moving on the uh, episode uh, 084, and we'll have these things uploaded a lot sooner. Right over there. All right, right here.